here. Today we're going to enjoy our first online alto sax lesson together. This is alto sax lesson one, level one. Let's take an overview of the things that you have in your PDF. First thing that you should do every day is your pre-warm-up. The next thing you should do every day are your long tones. The third thing articulation, and an eighth note drill. Next, we'll do our first octave slurs every day. And then lastly, we'll play some songs. Here are two basic songs that everyone's learned this year, or maybe last year. This is something to start with. If you have your band bash music, you can also use that when you get to step five. In the very top page of your PDF are all of your notes. Remember the three steps to be successful. Can you read your note? Can you add your fingers to the note? And lastly, can you play your note? Remember those three steps to be successful early when you practice at home. Read your note. Add your finger to the note and then play your note. Okay, let's go over this together. Now the directions say to place your instrument's mouthpiece or neck joint combo in a playing position. We're gonna to count to eight inside our head, breathe in through your mouth on count four, then blow out steadily, making a reed crow sound. We want this sound to last on beats five through eight, and we'll try it three times. Now you can do this different ways. You can count and tap your foot, as it says. You can look for a metronome and practice with a metronome. I like a steady beat of 70 for this exercise, which would sound like this. Or you can play along with us today and use a steady beat track, which will sound like this. And that's how we will begin. Make sure that you know that the three snare drum clicks in the beginning, the four snare drum clicks in the beginning, are for you to, to get ready to play. On beat four, make sure you're breathing. Okay, let's do the pre-warm-up together. Are you ready? Here we go. Moving on to number two. Before we go there, remember that one of the best things about online lessons is that if you want to play something over again, you can always back up your video and try it again. Okay, directions for number two. Same idea. Count to four inside your head before the first written note, breathing out on count four to play. Our breathing, yes. Continue counting inside your head until the end of the exercise. Make each tone as steady and beautiful as you can. So this is a G, and remember that a curved line that connects G together to another G is called a tie, and this is our way in music that we do math. Four beats plus one beat, five beats of G. One quarter note rest, one beat. One half note rest, two beats. And we're moving on. Number two sounds like this. Are you ready? Here we go.
great job, everybody. Remember, you can always go back and do it again as many times as you feel you need. Moving on to number three, articulation and eighth note drill. Remember to always begin each note by whispering the T syllable into your airstream. You can practice this before playing example A. You can do this below by whispering the letter T while blowing a steady airstream. It would sound like this for letter A. I'll use my metronome as an example. Any time that you can do that, it frees up your air to work in the right way to get the best type of sound out of your instrument. A sound that is free and easy and oftentimes sounds very nice. We're going to try number three with two steps. I'm going to clap the first measure of each letter. And on the rest, I want you to clap back to me what you hear. We're going to move through the alphabet this way. I'll do A. Clap. You clap. I'll play letter A on this B, and you play it. Then we're going to move down and do the same steps. Letter B, clap and play. Letter C, clap and play. All the way until we get to letter H. Are you ready? Here we go. Very good, everyone. Moving down to number four. First, octave slurs. This exercise gradually adds length and fingers to your instrument. Try to carry a smooth sound the whole way down the instrument as you add each finger. Do not tongue each note, nor stop the air. Continue blowing steady while moving your fingers. Make sure to use the correct fingering for F sharp and F natural. Now let's just skip back up and look at that F sharp and F natural real quick. The difference between F sharp and F natural. How do they look? They're on the same space, but they have a different sign. This is your F, also known as F natural, and it's fingered over here. F sharp, also in the same first space, but how is it different? It carries that hashtag sign. First space with a sharp sign. Fingered this way. Find both in exercise four. First thing we have to play is F sharp. And then we begin to use our F naturals. Okay. Just like the tie, from before, when we were adding rhythms together, now we have slurs. Slurs mean to blow steadily through by only changing our fingers to get to the next note. I'm going to tongue one time in this passage 
right before the C. Next time my tongue, C. Next time my tongue, C. Get the idea? Only tongue in this exercise when you have your C's. Here we go. away. Make sure you're keeping a steady beat and reading. Number four, one more time. Here we go. to play on your instrument every day. Lastly, we want to get to our songs. Again, if you have your band bash music, feel free to use that here. But here are some good songs to practice. We have a couple of different styles of background tracks to use for each one. I'm excited to show them to you and you're going to listen to them. Um, these are things that you might not have heard yet. Remember, you can always do this by yourself with a steady beat. You can always use a metronome, or feel free to use our play-along tracks. Let's do hot cross buns. Ready? Here we go. sure you sounded great on that. Here comes Mary Had a Little Lamb. Ready? Here we go. takes us to the end of our first lesson today. I hope that you had a lot of fun today, and I hope that you practice your instrument every day. Until next time, see you later.